Uh, it was a good one. I mean, you always want to win, get a clean sheet, three goals, um, and it was fun. Like, just the environment was good. Um, there was moments in the game, you know, where it just it just felt like, oh my goodness, we we got to score here, three, four, five times. So uh, it was fun, and then obviously the result was great. And um, to start off with Nashville, that's just a, it's a dream start. We'll start with Ben. Yeah, Lucas. Uh, Gary mentioned that it was a, a bit of a crazy couple of weeks for you. Can you just maybe walk us through the process when you found out that you're coming to Nashville and then kind of getting acclimated into the group? How's that? Been? For sure. I, th I don't think a trade uh, is ever easy. You know, right in the middle of the season, you don't have very much time. Um, but I think for myself, it came at a perfect time. Um, you know, just this everything from the facility here being brand new, coming in and everybody, the coaching staff, the players, the medical staff, um, just the, the support staff, everybody around the organization is so good. Um, so like after I, I was here three days, it felt like I'd been here three months. Um, so it, it was definitely easy and that makes everything on the pitch be, be easy as well. Um, and then, you know, apart from that, guys on the field, they want to win um, and they, you know, it's everybody's in it together here. Um, there's no egos. There's no, there's no uh, anybody above anybody else. It's really everybody's in it together to to help each other and to perform. So, um, on that end, the players have been great too. You know, just helping helping me out, trying to get on the same page right away. And um, yeah, it's been smooth so far. And then, I mean, obviously, you got the win against Chicago, but I think you held up to something like three shots total. Did it feel like a, a pretty ideal start to life in Nashville for you? Yeah, the first half was great. I don't think we even gave up a single shot. Um, I, th I can think of two moments off the top of my head. Early on in the second half where they, I think they changed things up and, and, and maybe got a few half chances there. Um, but overall, like, that was a, it was a really dominant performance from us. And, and like I said, we could have had five or six. Yeah. Any more, Ben? I'm good. Ryan? We'll go. We'll transition over to the Zoom with Tim Sullivan. Go ahead, Tim. Yeah, Lucas, uh, believe it or not, looking at me, but I'm not a professional athlete, so this is not a situation I've been in. But what is it like to have played in Geodis Park as as a visitor um, less than a month before coming and, and starting and playing in Geodis Park as, as a member of the home team? Yeah, you know what? Um, after that game, or even, <clears throat> you know, there, yeah, right after the game, I'll say, you know, we're all sitting in the locker room. I think, you know, that's a top, that's a top environment. It's a top uh, stadium, brand new. The facilities are great. Um, the fans are great. There's so much energy in the stadium, and so you know, I'm I'm thinking, oh, this is a great place to play. And then you know, being on the other side of it, and and being able to call that home, it's it's amazing. So you really, as a team, you feed off that energy from the fans from the stadium, the grass is amazing, so you can play. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's, it's great. And then fitting in, um, you mentioned, you know, you, you, you fit in basically immediately with the guys. How has it, how has it been fitting in with, um, whether there's a tactical change or just kind of fitting in with new bodies around you as you're actually on the pitch? Um, Gary mentioned that, I, I believe you only had one full training session before Saturday's game. So how, how, was, how were you able to that quickly adapt to a, a new um, set of surroundings? Yeah, like I said, there's, you know, playing next to a guy like Shaq Moore, um, who's, you know, so experienced, it's not very, it doesn't make it very hard. Uh, it's pretty, pretty smooth. He know, knows where to be. He knows what he wants. Um, and from having watched him, I, I you know, would, would like to say I understand kind of his movements, how he plays. Um, and then Jack's a great guy. Like I said, he wants to, he wants to win, so... So just having little conversations before the game, making sure we're on the same page uh, makes it all very smooth.